What is up guys, it's your favourite Scotsman Ryan here and today we are going to take a look at the MSI GTX 1070 Gaming X priced at around £430 here in the UK and around $450 in the US it certainly isn't cheap and will make a dent in your wallet so let's jump in and see if the price is justified and if it will meet my expectations so as always we will start by taking a look at the design and if you watch my review of the MSI GTX 1080 you will notice many similarities here. As we have come to expect with MSI we have that black and red colour theme which looks really nice but definitely limits your options on what colour scheme the rest of your rig can be. Up front we have the new twin Froza 6 design fans and having tested these before on the 1080 I knew what to expect and they didn't let me down as temps on this card are absolutely solid. Without diving too deep, the new Torx 2.0 blade design generates around 22% more air pressure, thus keep everything cool and surprisingly achieves this while being super silent. And that is probably due to the fact that the fans won't start spinning until the card goes above 60 degrees and when the card drops below 60 degrees they will stop spinning so that's why they remain super quiet and I definitely like this approach. You will notice that on the black side of the card we do have some translucent red LED strips and these do light up and can be controlled via the MSI gaming app which I will show you later. On the rear we have a beautiful backplate with the MSI logo and dragon and I think this backplate on the 1070 looks a lot nicer than the one we find on the 1080 as I really prefer having the dragon in there as it adds another element to it so let me know your thoughts on that. Taking a look at the side of the card you will find an RGB MSI logo which I feel is pretty pointless as using any colour other than red or white just looks terribly out of place but it's there if you want it. So to juice this bad boy up you will need an 8 and 6 pin PCIe connector and a 500 watt plus power supply is definitely recommended. Last of all for all the outputs we have 3 DisplayPort 1.4s, 1 HDMI 2.0 and 1 dual link DVI port. So let me show you the LEDs and RGB in action. As you can see the red LED strips aren't the brightest and I assumed that maybe the brightness level needed tweaked in the software but this is actually as bright as they go. The RGB logo can be changed to any colour you wish on the side and you can go ahead and add effects etc if you wish like flashing and breathing. Overall this is a very good looking card and if you are going for a black and red build definitely I wouldn't look anywhere else other than MSI at this point. So just before we jump into the benchmarks, for those who care about specs, the MSI 1070 Gaming X features 1920 CUDA cores, 8GB of GDDR5 memory, a base clock of 1582 MHz and a boost clock of 1771 MHz in gaming mode. I have quoted the gaming mode clocks as this is the mode that I do all my tests in before manually overclocking. Speaking of overclocking, I was able to push the boost clock to 2114 MHz using MSI's afterburner without any trouble at all and the temps hit around 68 degrees while running the benchmark so I was definitely in Impressed. Ok so enough of the boring stuff let's move on and see how this actually performs. So in my system I'm rocking an Asus X99 Sabertooth motherboard with a 5820K overclock to 4GHz along with 32GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM so let's jump in and see the benchmarks. <laughs>
Okay, so hopefully you can tell by the benchmarks that the MSI GTX 1070 Gaming X is an awesome card. It definitely justifies the price if you live in the US. In the UK, the prices are a little inflated at the minute due to our unstable economy, but this is just one of those things that we have to deal with. If you were possibly thinking about getting a 980 Ti instead of a 1070 to try and save a little bit of money, what I would say is I would save up that extra and go for the 1070 as it definitely won't let you down and will probably help you out in the future. So that pretty much rounds it up guys. If you have any questions, definitely let me know down below. If you would like to see the 1070 paired with a 6600K Intel i5, then I will leave the link to my latest build down below as I'm pretty sure you will be impressed with the benchmarks that provided as well. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for the Thank <laughs> you.